Hello community, you ask me, do I need DSPy to generate a functional prompt? No, let me show you. So we start here, I say, hey, GPT-4, generate 20 sentences and show me. GPT does it, 20 sentences, beautiful. So I have here from quantum entanglement to graph theory to cost theory, high energy particle physics, dark matter, quantum computing. I have 20 sentences. And now I say, hey, now apply a clustering algorithm and define five clusters. And you define the topic and distribute these 20 sentences to the five clusters. Show me for each cluster the title and the sentences. Start now. And you see, GPT-4 comes back and says, okay, scikit-learn, beautiful. TFIDF factorization, K means, these are my sentences. I apply the cluster algorithm, I sign them, and now I define here thematic topics. And those are the five thematic topics GPT-4 defines. And then it allocates the sentences. And here you have it. Cluster number one. And here we have then one, two, three, four, five of my 20 sentences. Beautiful. So now let's look here at the last one, biotechnology. In biotechnology and chemical processes, we have dark matter and dark energy from cosmology. And then we have here cosmological observation. We have here neuromorphic computing. And I say, hmm, now just count the number. Just make sure it's 20. It says, yeah, 20, beautiful. And then I say, hey, analyze the cluster number five for a semantic coherence and tell me your insights. The GPT goes there, says, okay, those are the three sentences. Upon analysis of semantic coherence, we find that the sentences within this cluster touch upon highly advanced scientific context, but exhibit a thematic divergent from the cluster title. And it says, comes back and says, hmm, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. So, and I said, hey, do you want to reformulate the topic of cluster number five? And ChatGPT4 says, okay, what about this title? I go with this title. Frontiers in Astrophysics, Cosmology, and Computational Neuroscience. This is better. And I say, now perform the same analysis for the other four clusters. And ChatGPT does it. Yes, yes, yes. It comes back. Okay. The titles and contents of some cluster require realignment to accurately reflect their thematic focus. So I say, okay, nobody. So update all the titles of all the cluster if you seem that it is necessary and then verify the perfect location for each sentence in each and every cluster allocation. GPT-4 comes back and says, okay, based on this, I do this now. One, two, three four, five clusters. Beautiful. And then I look at this and I say, hey, do you notice that cluster number four has part in its title cosmology, but none of the allocated sentences are about cosmology. So what's happening? GPT-4 comes back and says, upon re-evaluation, it is clear that my previous allocation may have emphasized quantum phenomena without directly addressing cosmology. However, yes, 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 given this oversight, uh-oh, GPT-4, a more accurate title would be quantum phenomena and theoretical physics for a true representation of cosmological exploration, say, okay, so now to your final answer, list all topics, now we're in iteration number four, with its titles and their allocated sentences to the cluster. GPT-4, yes, 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 beautiful. And I say, okay, but you know, the sentence about chemical catalysis seems strange in cluster number five about advanced concepts in astrophysics and philosophy. Why is there here the chemical reaction in philosophy? And Chad Tibetic back, comes back and says, hey, you are correct. The sentence here does not align well with the topic, the theme of cluster number five. So it does now an updated cluster allocation. It puts now revised cluster number three. Yeah, beautiful. And advice here, cluster number five here is now reduced here to the Fermi paradoxon, the anthropic principle, and the dark matter. And finally, finally, after all of this, we have now the allocation that even if I have a look at it, 
I say, okay, theoretically, this could be a cluster allocation. And I just say, hey, make sure that we have allocated all 20 sentences. Goes there, Python code 20 tells me those are my five clusters and those are the sentences. And we have here 20 sentences. And after all of this, I go now and tell here my GPT-4 system, listen, now you create an improved prompt for the exact same task like we just we did now. But be as precise that next time you will find a perfect allocation of 20 random sentences to five self-defining thematic cluster without any of the iteration we went through just right now in our conversation. So ChatGPT goes in and says, okay. And now ChatGPT generates, based on our experience here, the perfect prompt. It says, okay, these are the task. I will have an initial review. I will draft some cluster teams. I will have a detailed analysis for the allocation. I will allocate the sentences to the cluster. I will then refine the cluster titles. I will review it and adjust it. I will run a verification and the output will be the final allocation of 20 sentences to five refined thematic clusters. And this is it. So now what I do, I take exactly this prompt that, that GPT-4 generated for me based on our interaction up until now. And now we have a working, good, performant prompt. And you see, this prompt is now really special. And I say, okay, so a new task for you. Generate 20 random sentences. And then, and now I just copy here the new improved prompt that ChatGPT4 generated. And I say, let's do this. So first step, generate 20 random sentences. And now ChatGPT starts. Goes in Python, says, generate 20 random sentences. Beautiful, 20 sentences. Internal review, draft, draft cluster teams, gives me five teams. Detailed analysis, yes, of course, goes to the analysis. One, two, three, four, five. Does a verification. And this is it. And just say, okay, count the numbers. Do we have 20? And comes back and says, yes. We have exactly 20 sentences allocated, and this is here the distribution of our five titles. And if we now have a look, physical science and material innovations, relativity, photosynthesis in plants, physical sciences, okay, nanotechnology, okay, biomedical research and genetic engineering, CRISPR COS9, gut microbiome and protein folding, okay. Astronomical and cosmology, gravitational waves, Hubble Space Telescope, dark matter, exoplanets, okay. Environmental sciences and sustainability, climate change, energy solution, renewable energy sources, depletion of ozone layer, implement implications for the Earth climate, okay. And computational and technological advancement, very broad topic, AI quantum computer, machine learning techniques, blockchain technology, autonomous vehicles, and neural network brain infrastructure. So, works. You see, now here with this perfect, perfect, with this operational prompt, we succeed. And therefore, in this simple example, if you want to find a good prompt, you do not need a template, you do not need the SPI programming here, just do like I do here, if I have a problem, look at this, what we had to go through. So next time, when I have 20 sentences and I want that there is a cluster generated, a thematic cluster by GPT-4, now we have a functional prompt to do this. Without any programming, without any problem, just follow how you would talk to the computer, if there's a problem, tell him, hey, that's wrong. What do you think about this? And as you can see in this very short example, GPT-4 can self-optimize if it learned from your interaction exactly what you want from it.